Let's evaluate both of these terms of 8 exponent 2 over 3 and 8 exponent 3 over 2. One of these is easy, the other one is not. This one right here is looking at a cube root and you have a perfect cube. This is looking at a square root but you don't have a perfect square. What do I mean? If you were to write these using your laws of exponents and radicals, you're looking at 8 square but you're looking at a cube root. Here you're looking at an 8 cube but you're looking at a square root. This is a perfect cube. Let's look at this easier one first. I'm looking at a 2 cube to the power of 2 or 3 and these will cancel out. I have 2 square and it's equal to 4. The end result of my first term is a 4. Now let's look right here. We're looking here at a square root but we don't have a perfect square. How can we solve it? We're looking here at 8 to the power of 3 over 2. You can write that as root 8 square and then you're looking at that to the power of 3 over 2 and you can cancel these out. What you're really looking at is root 8 to the power of 3. And you know that to be root 8 times root 8 times root 8. These two will come together as an 8 and you have a root 8. You know root 8 is equal to here a 4 times 2. The 4 comes out as a 2, you have a 2 root 2. Combine this with that 8, you'll have a 16 root 2. And that right here will be your end result. When you look at this first term, your output is a 4. When you look at the second term, your end result here is 16 root 2. But both of these end results, answers are good.